So how do you come up with social media posts to keep it interesting, engaging, and relevant? Well, it's really simple. You pick a subject that's relevant to today or the upcoming week or day. For example, I help out food entrepreneurs and I would talk about how Mardi Gras is coming up tomorrow and I would remind my audience to make sure that you're posting about how you're offering southwestern dishes such as jambalaya to get some customers for the upcoming days. And please don't tell me that, oh, you only sell pizza or sandwiches. That doesn't matter, so what? All you have to do is watch a couple of YouTube videos and learn what people eat during Mardi Gras and just offer that as a special for the week. That's what I did when I was running NYC Cafe and it worked like a charm because people like to have theme parties. So if you can provide some kind of Southwestern dish for this week and advertise that, I guarantee you people will love it. All you have to do is follow a recipe and you can do that by watching the thousands of YouTube videos or Google posts that are out there. Trust me, this will work. I remember back in 2013, we created a shrimp jambalaya dish and we got thousands of orders. We catered to big companies such as Zillow and Oakley. And, and why would you, why do you think they would put that order in with us? Well, it's because I understand what days are coming up and I would take action and I would create the dishes that customers would like. Because look at, look at it this way. Especially big companies, they like to keep things interesting. So when you remind them, hey, it's Mardi Gras in New Orleans, you know how huge it is over there, people love to celebrate that. And you, you remind them what kind of a dishes there is and you can make it your own. It doesn't have to be exactly what I said, the jambalaya. You can look up and see what dish would go with your kind of dish. Like, if, for example, let's say if you have a Mediterranean restaurant, you come up with something that's similar to Southwestern with your own dishes and you put a twist into it. And trust me, trust me when I say this, people will love it. People will love it because the first thing is it's a theme and people get excited about that. So the reason for this video is to let you know, to keep people engaged and interesting, interested in your post, you need to be relevant. You need to see what's going on in the world today and create a post regarding that. I see a lot of people doing this and it works and it really works. Give it a shot. What do you have to lose? So since my audience are food entrepreneurs, give it a shot this week. Create a menu. Mardi Gras is tomorrow, but it doesn't matter. This whole week could could be basically Mardi Gras and people can celebrate and people do celebrate it. So create a menu item, a Southwestern dish and post it and say, due to Mardi Gras, we created this special and come up with some kind of combo deal and see what happens. It will work. Trust me, I've done it many times before and every time I do it, my customers appreciate it because I'm creative. I'm being relevant to what's going on and people like that. People like any kind of excuse to have a party or try a new dish. Stay relevant guys, get creative and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna coming up, I'm gonna be creating a lot of videos like this to remind you what's coming up so you can get engaging posts and you can get creative with your menu so you can get some ideas of how to grow your food business. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Now go get them this week.